Hi, I'm Paul Blunden, founder and CEO of UX247. And today I'm going to be speaking with one of our customers about a successful project we delivered for them. Hi, Jesus. Uh, great, great to see you. And, and look, for the benefits of, of people watching, could I ask you to introduce yourself, tell me what you do and what role you played at, UK, at Roku? Hi. Yes, I am a senior UX researcher at Roku. I the lead researcher for players, which is or the, includes the remote, the, the streaming boxes and streaming stick. And I also do research for customer support, which involves both both the website and the call center. Oh, it's a pretty uh, involved role from the sound of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is pretty busy. And, but it's pretty interesting. And like the differences between like working with the digital and physical experiences. Well, look, um, we, we first worked with you uh, last year on a really interesting project. Can you uh, sort of tell, tell me about what, what the problem was you were trying to overcome? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it is. Uh, this project was uh, is a was a two year long project that we started because we were evaluating every single one of the remotes. For example, these are two of the remotes that we have in the U.S. from a more, uh, more basic one, which is this little guy here, which is uh, to the one with more capabilities and hands free, hands free, and and, and and more and more features. To now that we wanted to move. Internet. Well, when we have international remotes, it was a term for this big guy right here, which is has the T pad, which is the one that we have in the UK. We wanted to evaluate it, and, but we thought it would be better. We will have a better understanding of our users if somebody local with a better grasp of the of the users in the market will be. That's why we reach out to you guys and. This was part. Since this was part of the general evaluation that we were doing, we already have a standardized test. It was also flexible enough, as you saw, like different remotes have different feature sets and the like. So that's why we we wanted to reach out to you guys. Okay, and and why did you uh, select us? Uh, what was the uh, thing that sort of sent you our way? Yes. So this was a. Uh, it was a decision that, that was made originally, also with the help with the international research. I, I, I as a, the, the player research, I collaborated with my counterpart for the international, and she already did uh, had a, did a, a, a little bit of digging with the multiple vendors that we can that we can call and, and the like. She was like, "Oh, we have vendor A, C, and D," and after reviewing, after evaluating, we said, oh, let's, let's talk with them. And uh, I was delightful to talking with you guys. You made it very easy. It was great. Uh, this was a project that involved not only players, but also international and Roku TV, which is just another division. Actually, the recent, the, the UK remote had the DPET. And it was, Something the main thing that caught my eye and really appreciate from you guys was how you made it easier for me. I know it was a lot of moving pieces, but you made it very easy to to get everything together and how you prompted, how you asked, to trying to get a better grasp and to better understanding of what we needed. That made it that was very valuable for me. That you you were so eager or interested or invested on this really it spoke very loudly to me. That's uh, really lovely to to hear, and and you alluded to actually how the project was running there as well. And I, I remember it was a very complicated project with a a lot of moving parts, and um, and our results team will always work very hard to make sure that uh, it it, come, it seems mm. simple for the for the client. <laughs> so <laughs> perhaps you could tell uh, speak a bit more about what what actually the project was all about then, and what happened, and and how how it ran from your perspective. Yes, of course. It was, it was. It was a very complicated and large project. We, uh, as you mentioned, we tried to make it easy, but there's just so many moving pieces, and we had to 
work with the with multiple divisions here Roku and trying to buy in trying to include uh, not only or remote but also the competitors to bet to get the best uh, the, the most uh, that we can most information that we can and one of the things that you alluded is like yes you work very hard to make it look easy for us and it was not until I flew there and uh, when I'm doing the sessions I was there every session that I realized how much work you did. Like it was uh, because, as I mentioned, we were testing not only this guy, but we were also testing uh, the, a competitor remote over there. And during the conversations that we had, like uh, the different tests that we have, maybe one test we perform better and because the competitor doesn't have something, so it will, like it will not match up or vice versa. Something that competitor did pretty well, but we didn't. The feature we didn't have. So there was a lot of, uh, and again, from my perspective, everything was smoothly. Everything was great. We just met up, and you did the, you did the, you gave the feedback to the, to the moderator guy that I did, and now going there and realizing, oh. This is a lot. <laughs> they were a lot, a lot of moving PCs, one of the reasons that we're doing it. So that was fantastic. I, I really value and appreciate it, all, all the legwork, all the, everything that you did uh, before starting. And now being there, after each session, after each session, after each session sorry, <laughs> after each session, you were asking, it's like, what feedback do you have? What do you think? Should we prompt this? Should we ask this? Would you like to, uh, would you like to change it? Or like, what do you think of these questions and stuff like that? Or would you have more questions? So that was that was phenomenal. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, really, uh, as I as we were going through the sessions, we were like, yes, we are getting the best results possible, like the best results possible that we can. So that uh, that part, of like first the pre work and now during the sessions, how, how we work together on doing this, you make things very smoothly for us. Fantastic. Okay, well, a glowing uh, reference, which is always great to hear. <laughs> and um, and what were the results ultimately? I mean, it's it's obviously a long project. Are there results yet? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it was. <clears throat> well, this is hardware. Things, things take a long time. <laughs> a long time to process, a long time to change. But thanks to uh, the team worked so hard on having everything standardized. Uh, we, it was part of the framework that we were in sync, that that everything was worked smoothly and smoothed out. We were able to transfer the knowledge from the UK remote to the rest of the world. Meaning that because now we have a, a large enough corpus of information because since this had been done through the years and with multiple studies with more with multiple remotes we now have enough data to make is that actually statistical significant differences. It has to like weight, uh, sturdiness, feeling, and reachability, and all these things. So it has been a great project, meaning that you know, in the sense that we were able to say, we were able to significantly influence the, well, uh, the next generation remote that will be launched, if I remember correctly, uh, spring 2024, don't quote me on that, it can change. But it includes knowledge and decisions were made based on the result on, on the results of the study because of the cumulative way that we have been working with. And which was very important for us to, to keep consistency. And and now that that we have that extra information, especially well, I, I say the community way because you know like PMs being the actors they will say, uh, oh, well, it's only one study, it's a small sample, and the like. But now that we have additional tests, additional information, we are able to say, no, this is actually statistical significance. It's not only one remote in the US, but it's also in the UK, and it's also with remote X, uh, Y, and remote Z. And that makes a huge change. Even, even for the UK remote, I still have the thing that we tested there. But we were able to make last minute changes in hardware time. I think it's like uh, this remote is, will be released or was released fall 
2023, this year. Um, so, well, last minute changes, meaning <laughs> that uh, since it takes a year, uh, decisions that were, they were on the, they were not completely sure about it, but they said they worked like, yeah, we would like to change, we would like to, to make these changes. And based on the information that we got from you guys. Well, it sounds like uh, there was a lot of value out of the, the project. Um, yes. Is there anything else? I mean, that, it's been great hearing, actually, because we, when you're working in the project, and certainly for me, watching the team doing it, it's it's hard to know how it's gone at times. But but mm -hmm. so it's been really great hearing that from you. Is there anything else you'd like to, to add at all? Yes. Uh, well, as you can see, I'm very happy. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for the partnership that we had. Because uh, you were very flexible, you were very nimble, you accommodated a couple of things, especially because this was, as I said, was part of a larger study. And this was the framework that I created for this, like, needed multiple things to be accommodated in a certain way. So it was, it was great that you were able to, to work with that, to accommodate, to say, in, this, in particular, for example, I'm a, my stronger suit, but I not only am a qual researcher, but I'm a quant researcher. There were a bunch of metrics, stats that needed to be there. So that was that was part of the things like, oh, we need to make sure that it's like this, 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 and this. And as we were working on that, when you delivered the, the first report, that we had this back and forth, and also to be able to uh, get questions from you like oh how do you feel with this how do you communicate with that that back and forth was very important i appreciate it well jesus it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you and thanks so much for uh, for being so open about the project and how it went and and what the results were um and we very much hope to to be working with you again in the future likewise thank you very much <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to Jesus and learning about the project we did for Roku. Um, there, there were an awful lot of moving parts in that project, but delighted it went so well for him. Um, if you have a project uh, that you have in mind or a problem you're trying to solve um, in new markets or your home market, why don't you get in touch with us? You can do that through our website. That's ux247.com. Uh, you can email us, hello at ux247.com. Or you can find me on LinkedIn um, and message me there. I'm Paul Blunden, CEO and founder of UX247, and we help global brands deliver high-performing products and services. Thanks for watching.